Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, um, it's going to be step one of destroying Mexico as a faction. A uh, very small garrison here, so this is going to be a bit of a warm-up for the future action against uh, Mexico City, the capital. So let's destroy the Antigua garrison and bring this territory under our control. We're going to move Mr. Green from his position, his current position in the, in the uh, port up to the city to provide extra support. And then we're going to assault the capital itself and destroy Mexico and then bring Mexico into the fold. We're going to need to spend a good chunk of money on repairing their infrastructure and upgrading their, upgrading or replacing their economic structures so that we can properly make use of them. It works out quite well for us, really, because our economy is still not at full tilt. So, guns up on this lovely piece of high ground at the top. Let's pick up our infantry. That will do. Let's cluster our elites together on the right flank. Excellent. Then all our skirmishes hold up on the left. Howitzers form up in the rear. Cavalry stick with the skirmishers. General hold in the centre. Just let my artillery. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna let my artillery shoot as they like. Okay, let's get my infantry moving up rapidly. Fourth Continental advance, skirmishes. Oh no, I've com completely, completely screwed that up. There we go. The elites. Give my elites a more aggressive order because we've managed to. Well, the gunners. They did withdraw, but now they are not. Big block of infantry. Cross the air up here. Okay, let's start to actually target some of these units properly now. Right. Actually, let's take you two, these two units. We can spread out our line infantry in the center a little bit more. Colonial light. I mean, Empire is just a beautiful game. Skirmishes are at point blank range, they're going to be devastatingly accurate. Let's fold these elites in. These push up to present a threat here. Push the cavalry up. Yeah, the militia have already been obliterated. Get my crossier to engage the mounted tribal auxiliary. Not currently broken yet. Sorry. Oh. Couldn't get to the mute button in time. See, I lost a bunch of my crusty air to the Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Okay, run my line infantry up here, get my colonial lights into the house. Okay, I mean, we're <laughs> these guys are definitely done for. Broken, broken. 
foot artillery, concentrate fire on the 8th Regiment of Militia. Gold Continental Light Dragoons. Pursue and destroy the 7th. Okay, you men start engaging. Start engaging the colonial militia. Let's see how many rows deep they fire. Fire is a nearly coherent unit. Okay, you have to bear in mind that we are facing... In an army like this, what typically happens is the enemy breaks and then comes back. Breaks, comes back, breaks, comes back. Go on, Rangers. Couple more. There we go. We'll keep engaging. Probably auxiliary is still holding firm. Come on, take him out before some of these other units come back. I think this sort of strategy works for skirmish cavalry because it means they get a little bit of a respite to reload. Now low, and they they'll turn and be able to engage my cavalry. Unless I keep them engaged, they're just going to spin around and start shooting at them. And all these guys are all clustering against a handful of tribal auxiliary and not getting many kills. So let's just run through them. See, we just lost a. Oh, see, they. It's mad. The new AI, because that. Relatively new AI, because that never used to happen. There we go. Now we're in amongst them properly. And the armed citizenry have come back. Let's let them slowly take their position, or let them slowly advance back towards my line. Dawn infantry jumping onto them. As we deal with this last unit, let's speed up time. It's not the most ideal infantry position. Hey, are you bayonet charging? You are. Nice. Brave, but foolish. Nice. Okay, I think that's all of them. Yep, be warned. Against lots, large numbers of low-quality troops, the battles can take surprisingly long. <laughs> okay, let's repair the government building. Let's get rid of the dockyard. Get rid of the Jesuit college. Potentially get rid of the pleasure garden. Let's upgrade our economic structures. Let's get the roads rebuilt. Let's get the army replenished. So Mexico does have an army afloat. Not that it's going to help them. So you're just going to head up to the coast. This army that is a bit depleted is simply 
Going to run around that small army. More orders. Settlement and then we're going to attack Mexico City itself. And let's make sure we put our American infantry mercenaries up front. Plus, Grenadiers up there as well. US Marines are in good strength as well. Okay, that'll probably do. Let's go for Mexico City. So that'll be Mexico dealt with. Soon Grand Colombia will be dealt with. And then we can go all in on the goddamn invasion of Europe. I think we are going to go the Scandinavia route. Knock out the British. That means the Marathas are going to take control of the British territories in India. But I suppose this is going to stop this is going to, going to keep the Marathas as a late game threat. Sadly, it's raining. Get my howitzers set up. Get, get my foot artillery set up. Get my howitzers set up. Let's take all of my infantry. Didn't get it all. Something like that. Let's not worry about maximizing their positioning at the moment. You men blow your way in. How it says quick climb things don't necessarily have to go for their mortars because you you can get them just Let's focus on everything else. Let's make sure sometimes some of this some of these menu options get deselected for reasons unknown. Let's get the breach made up. Get the breach created. That's right, you better run. What are the howitzers? Okay, right, I need to um, halt fire at will with the howitzers to get them to re-engage different targets. Mexican Grenadiers on the wall. They will... There we go, like these guys. Beautiful targets. Fire long. Okay, let's... Make a second breach. While we clear out their defenders. Which was other gunners going to make that happen? Okay, now they will. Good stuff. Oh, start to see the quick climbs work being done. Lots of fallen Mexican comrades. There we go, the breach is being made. Once we've got the second breach, we'll slow down time and then start the attack more conventionally. Okie dokie. Oh, that unit just got annihilated. Okay, we have our breach. So let's take these units, push up against that breach. We'll allocate targets to them in due course. You men push up here. These units push around the flank. Make sure my skirmish cavalry is firewall off. Push my cavalry up with the main line. Let's 
Let's put the artillery, get to work on this bastion. Start to create additional ways in. Enemy mortars are firing. Pummeling the 85th. Okay, let's line up, set up our position, because what we're going to go with is assault the wall and force them to come out and try and stop us. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Get you men up on the wall. Force them to come out and play, which they are currently indulging us with. Oh, they thought that was, they were charging for a minute. Uh, we're opening fire. So this little breach is going to be Bit of a killing zone. Queen of Light Cannon have pushed out from the middle of the. Well, from the front gate. Quickly, I'm still pummeling the enemy. Switch my howitzers to round shot, try and do a bit of counter battery fire. I've already got a couple of units shattered. Some units are wavering. The dragoons are coming out. I'm not going to worry about them specifically. They're going to get picked off in the crossfire. You may form square. That'll deal with the dragoons. There we go. They're coming out to try and. So, you can climb up here as well. That's right, back you come. If we can break the Grenadiers, that will almost be... Actually, that is everyone. Get everyone in. You men engage the armed citizenry that are gathering on the wall to try to stop us. Try the same over here, everybody just push in. Run the cavalry around this engagement. They can run around and start to deal with these guys in the centre. These units position to obliterate this square formation. I think we managed to take our mortar with counter battery fire. That's pretty slick. Let's cease fire the artillery. Yeah, they're definitely done for. Everyone's forming up to engage the first regiment of foot in defence of the city. One rifleman get into the barracks, but fire it will off. All this infantry just storm the centre. I'm trying to engage my my long riflemen. This poor square formation is just getting shot to ribbons. Uh, 
everyone in the center is in terrible shape. Killed their general. Attack the colonial light cav. Get the regiment of horse in, get the tribal auxiliary in, start shooting at. Actually, you guys can start shooting at the. Actually, if you do fire at will. Hey, look who it is. Yeah, they will shoot into the fight in the center. Kill them! Kill them all! It's the tribal auxiliary engaging the fifth. Have you broken yet? No, you haven't. Oh, we've killed them to a man. Excellent. Okay, so you've started the count. Let's get you guys to fire at will off. Give you guys new orders. Hopefully you spread out and use more ropes. Apart from that though, it's everybody against the last cavalryman. Oh, shattered, shattered. Yep, yeah, you're gone. Nice. That's Mexico City captured. That will be quite useful. Mexico City is a very valuable region. Lots of mines, lots of towns, lots of ports. Excellent. Um, so, I mean, they hate us for now. If we get rid of the Jesuit College, where's your university? Do you not have one? No, you don't. Very well. Let's spend a bunch of money repairing the buildings in the city itself. Let's repair the army. Let's get rid of the fishery. Let's repair the commercial port. Let's get rid of the dockyard. I'm sure we've got... No, I thought we had surplus sloops. Let's get you into Grand Bahama. There we go, get a sloop into Veracruz. Get you guys into Campeche. Let's get a proper sloop to protect this port. Are you getting better roads? You are. Let's upgrade San Juan. Still marching on to the Grand Colombian capital, but they too will soon be done. Let's repair Puerto Cabello. We can, we can only build Santa and uh, into a fishing dock. But I don't want to do that. Let's build a sloop to garrison to protect that port. Awesome. Soon. Actually, we can repair Puerto Bello now. Uh, sloops aren't that cheap. Cool. Uh, right. Let's start to gather my religious agents near Mexico. Because we don't need them down here anymore. We want one keeping an eye on Santa Fe, but apart from that, they're all going to start joining the redeployment of troops. She can stay near Panama, that's okay. Nation destroyed Mexico, very nice. Uh, in terms of tech, you're going to progress down the punch card loom. Textile industry tree, that's great. You're going down the artillery tree to get shrapnel shot, which is incredibly powerful. Nice. Uh, you can't join that fleet. So our economy should be doing a lot better now, because we've not got as many Mexican ships attempting to blockade our ports. 
Yeah, they're stockpiling troops near their capital. I mean, you can grant this grand. This is the Grand Columbian fleet that we did destroy. Um, but my save file corrupted, and I had to get a new one. <laughs> Well, not get a new one. I had to water resolve my way to a new one. Uh, uh, water resolve. They're probably going to chase down this ship. Oh, no, they didn't. That's right, Austria. You better run. Okay, now it's down to the Ottomans. Are they going to break the game? Actually, it looks like they are losing territory to the Russians. It'd be interesting if Russia manages to take Ankara. That could be part of the reason why their end term, end turn phase is taking so long if they can't work out how to more efficiently transit through Istanbul to get to Ankara. They're trying to run all these calcs about running through the Black Sea, but they've got no, no proper land access, and it's just kind of not that great. Right, looks like I need to chop the recording. Oh, no. Things are progressing. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I think we are going to be... Well, I think we're going to be doing to Austria what we are doing in India in our Grand Columbia campaign and try and do the Death by a Thousand Cuts strategy where we keep invading off the coast and capturing their large cities. Till eventually they are forced to capitulate. Okay, yeah, I'm going to drop the recording, so I'll bring you guys back in a second. And we're back in the action. Uh, where's my... I've normally got a bit of paper I write down how many <laughs> minutes the turn was. But I don't know where my... Bit of paper's gone. Ha! There it is. Awesome. Right, 27. It's got a shrapnel shot, which is great. Port blockaded, fleet destroyed again. Jebek is a very fancy way to describe fleet. Chomp. I was going to say, we didn't lose any ships. Okay, let's put you up to here. Construction. We've also got roads here as well. Seven grand to build a new plantation. That's ridiculous. If you've done all the stuff in Hispaniola, Corsica. Lower Louisiana. Can't upgrade the cloth mills yet in England because I've got the tech. Upgrade the government building in Texas. Let's get a couple of the new ports built in New Mexico. Go on, Nathaniel Green. You can replenish and sit here. You can request Ooh, a rocket artillery would be great fun. So you've got light infantry. Okay, I think you might just need a bog standard unit of infantry of some description. Hessian line. That'll do. Okay, 8,000. So Mexico has a region. 
Interesting. It's actually not got catapulted as far up as I would like. I mean, London's still top dog, but I think Mexico, once they start getting some of these upgrades... First of all, let's get roads built, because they are. there's a lot of movement in this area. Monterey, let's... Um, yeah, I probably want a church school. Okay, actually, let's spread this out a bit. get some of the more incremental gains across the patch. So if Mexico gets church school, this religious agent can go down to Antigua and start to work on them. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Evan J is within range of the capital. Can we get over to this side? I was hoping we'd go over this way and around, but I guess not, but we will destroy their forces regardless. <laughs> then Bogota is another region that has a good amount of mines and a good amount of industry and ports, so these are really good captures for our empire. We've got a very, very good export economy, not a super good tax economy. So capturing territories like this are incredibly useful. Fine, you want us to attack? We'll attack, old boy. Okay, do the same thing again. Excellent. Make your breach. I still my how it's a shoot or whatever they like, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I suppose in theory it would be better if we can make our breach quicker. Although not it doesn't really matter if the enemy get their troops into the city. Doesn't really matter to us. Whether they're inside or not, they're still going to fall. However, it probably is better that we push up, keep our cavalry here, scare off any attempt to flank our force. They've lost a bunch of troops. Use my howitzers to drop shots onto their colonial light. Frontiersmen, native muscular sub auxiliary. Send a couple of units around the flank. Start to capture some of these gates. You men go wide. You men stack up behind this assault unit. actually stop them from getting in but we can harass the back of their column. There you go Evan, your men can storm the breach. Storm the breach I said. the 
cavalry. He just made them fall back. That's really useful. Okay, you men go up here as well. Chug, the chug is real. All this. <clears throat> Should make our way through there quite nicely. Excellent. So you men get over there, try to secure the gate. We're shooting the bejesus out of the 11th. Okay, let's maybe pull the unit out of there. How it's is a full artillery ceasefire. How it's is engage the colonial lights. We can extricate one more unit. That will make the chug a lot less real. Okay, Republican Guard. Claire's been broken in front of our lines, but they've sent, decided they want to try and attack us instead. Excellent shots coming in, doing excellent damage. Okay, all the gates are ours now. Now we have to hold them. Get my cavalry out of the way, they're getting shot to ribbons. Rangers get up here, provincial scouts get up here. Okay, you men go over here, secure this gate. Charge the Bowman Auxiliary. You men sweep up the outside. Hey, you guys need to get up here faster. So I need to give them a not as not as ideal final order, but I need to make them spread out. Your Lee's legions fire at will off. Get the cavalry to push up around the flank. Still going well. You're going to start firing into the combat, which could be just as unhelpful. There you go, everyone's four maps. So you can start engaging these cavalry units. Okay, let's get you men off the walls. Horse artillery is going down. Colonial cavalry is gone. Please Legion, go get the 6th Regiment of Horse Artillery. Can you guys just get inside now, I suppose? Get my infantry off the wall.
Here we go. Here they come. Put one unit on the flank here. drop into square that'll defeat their cavalry on the inside let's get you in new men man the fire step next to the gate okay let's just get the cavalry inside now Killed the enemy general. Concentrated musket fire did work. Frontiersmen are still loose, but doesn't matter. They're not going to be in the picture for long. Enemy relief is getting engaged as they try and advance towards the gate. Howitzers just obliterate the head of the head of this location with quicklime artillery fire that's right men man the fire step you may engage that those last cavalrymen infantry get into the center Lee's Legion advanced to the rear of the enemy position. Foot artillery engage the knight specifically. Here they come. Storm into the back of the action in the center. Infantry hold the center. Excellent. Many formations are being turned back as they come in to try help. God, the third just getting annihilated from artillery. Still trying to push forward into into musket range. I mean, these aren't just anyone; these are United States Marines. Yeah, go get them, cavalry. Kill them! Kill them all! your firing positions see now they're starting to try and climb out the climb out the wall it's not gonna work kill that last frontiersman but the city's ours regardless you waited far too long That was an errant quick climb shot come flying in. Excellent. That's the garrison dealt with, so we can actually... We effectively fought that action. 
See you later, fellas. They're unhappy with us, as you can imagine. But they've got a college. So once we demolish that, they'll be fine. Nice. Okay. They've also got a church school. Let's get rid of that. Good. Okay. A lot of things we can do next turn. Oh yes, I should have dealt with that force near Sweden because they are incredibly isolated. Are you going to invade someone, Spain? Are you going to invade Austria? Uh, yeah, I think you're going to actually bravely run away. You're trapped in the corner, but you're quite powerful in the corner. Genoa, Prussia... Naples fleet... Sending some ships out to the Atlantic. To do what? Who are they going to raid? Hmm. Okay, then just like last time, I'm going to chop the recording. So, see you in a second. And we're off. Although, Russia doesn't actually... <laughs> Uh, appear to be much better than my Russia. We'll soon get you. Although I could do... Hmm. Could attack Russia by landing in Petrovskaya all the way up into the north. That could be fun. Let's see if Norway sallies out this turn. Persian fleet is scuttling away. They, sent, they went all that way to try and attack the Baltic fleet. And Russia just went, oh no you don't. Oh no. Oh no you didn't. That's very nice of them. Apart from that though. Uh, Russia looks like it's actually got a rebel territory inside its borders now. Ast uh, Astrakhan? I believe it's Astrakhan. First of all, let's check out the... Yeah, Astrakhan Rebels. Nice. Uh, right, so... We've got a lot of investing to do. Okay, so down here in Bogota. Let's upgrade. Let's get church school. Prepare the government building. Oh, we're making so much cash now let's get building especially yeah Panama we didn't actually do much investing in Panama at all because it was meant to be a bit of a breakwater between the two two empires in the Americas excellent Ooh, I'm not actually following any of this Forgot about Iceland. Especially as you got our field <laughs> you are our field marshal. Apart from that though, for the most part, I think everybody's pretty chilled out. Ronald Babington needs you've got plenty of elite troops. Okay, you need some cavalry. Gonna go for a horse grenade guard unit because we are in Britain. Can go for a regiment of horse plus a light cavalry sharpshooter. Plus four units of regular infantry, it looks like. Let's get one mercenary unit, two units of line. Sweet. Okay, probably yeah, we should take the Get rid of the Norwegian rebels. What 
lots of the British forces here. We want to just put just put Stockholm under siege. Don't worry about attacking it. Just siege it. Um, yeah, the main thing is to make sure that we've done everything we need to in the Americas. Like upgrading all this lovely, lovely infrastructure. Get our economy firing on all cylinders. It's a silver mine. Cool. Okay, let's put these agents in these armies. I mean, I imagine you probably can't leave. Minus one and minus five. Not actually that bad. A new town's going to develop next turn. Villa Hermosa, which is... Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah. But apart from that, we've done pretty well. Okay, let's... Ray with a Rodney... Okay, we are going to want to start to blockade the, the Maratha coast. So let's send Mr. Ooh. Mr. Rodney, pick up Osbert McDowell. Let's reorient this, move the agents across to the other force. You're going to land in Ceylon. Secure that territory from the British. So we have safe anchorage. Okay, you also go up here. Oh, another plantation. So Mexico's now growing 133 per turn. That's going to go up quite a lot once we get all of our stuff built. So well, the thing is, how fast is London growing? 131 a turn. Which means Mexico. Yeah, Mexico's growing faster than London. But is it growing faster than Chicasa? No, 142. What about Charleston? 154. That's crazy. Awesome. Crazy. Okay, let's put you in with Albert Braddock. Recruit some first rates to join his fleet. The new, good sir. Let's attack the Norway garrison and destroy them. So we need to free this army up to potentially go east to help support the force attacking Stockholm. New opinions are always suspected and usually opposed. Yeah, I suppose that's kind of true. As soon as people start to suggest things that are just different, it makes people uncomfortable. We don't like change. But sometimes people really hate the status quo and change is readily accepted. But then again, I suppose it's difficult to get a nuanced, witty one-liner. Okay, we're going to go for the... Let's try put my throw my elites into the into the meat grinder this time. Rig around the left, go around the right. Grenadiers plus my lights and go and try and attack the central structure. New men go for the gate. Howitzers go for the mortar battery in the centre. There we go, only two of them left. I do love the Norwegian flag in this game. I'm I'm a massive sucker for red, white and blue as it is, but that lion motif with the axe is just gorgeous. Yep, rockets away. I think they're aiming at the centre as well. We're testing our rockets <laughs> against the high-value target. One of the most inaccurate weapons of the year <laughs> against the most specific target. 
get my howitzers to focus on. If they can quick climb this blob as well. Obviously, massive sucker for a red uniform. It's the best colour. Howitzers away. <laughs> the general stuff has just been wiped out. But not the general, though. The general's alive and kicking. We got armed citizenry. I'm pretty sure it's just a mo it's just a load of line infantry, really. Rockets that they've retargeted. Up to the howitzers now. Oh no, that was it. The howitz the the rockets must have been attacking the mortar battery. But now they've been dealt with. There is no other concern. Okay, actually, in which case it's probably retargeting my howitzers to start shooting at things a bit more useful. Got rid of their mortars. That's all we really needed to do. Another artillery salvo. 91%. Close, but no cigar. Quick climb away. So damn dangerous. Okay, we've nearly made our breach. Have you formed square? You have. Losing decisively. There we go. Here's our breach. Okay. Infantry elite. Storm up. My flanking units push around the flank. My other flanking unit get ready on this central structure the artillery just slap shells slap round shot into the breach well, they might kill their long rope from it just in time Excellent. Keep working on them. Grenadiers! Get the grenadiers to scale the walls with the line infantry first. Keep my skirmishers back for now. Double that, doubling down. They're stacking men up nice and high. Good kills, good kills. Oh, they're going to push out. Yes, they are pushing out. They don't wish to die meekly waiting for the end. Get the long rope from an app to help support. Make sure they do follow. Don't try run around. Don't try run in. God damn it, they're being slaughtered. 
10th Regiment of Foot. Got my long rifleman with the. What a devastating volley. Oh, you shot at them instead. Fun. Grenadiers are stacking up. Fire lock on citizenry are being committed. Or well, they're recommitting. They're holding. They this to be prepared, a fifth regiment takes big balls to come out here and stand in front of all these fellas. get him grenadiers okay the line infantry you have to actually form up on the wall properly the grenadiers can make their way across okay this is really not how i plan on using my elite infantry Okay, format properly, fire it will off. Continental Marines, storm in, rocket artillery, ceasefire. Because it's completely indiscriminate. Whipped artillery, ceasefire, howitzers, engage the armed citizenry in the, ci in the town. Okay, looks like they might just let us in. Go, go, go. If they're not going to stop us, attack them to push them away from the breach. Allow my other units to get through. Okay, let's just try to get these guys off the wall, I suppose. Kill that last infantryman of the 6th Regiment. Okay, actually, no, you stay in the armory. Kill that last last guy where are you going armory go on line infantry storm in to help the grenadiers okay, one of you guys Go over here, the other take control of the command HQ. Garrison line infantry are trying to cause problems, but they're not gonna make it, see. Oh yeah, you men fire at will. Just open up. Our cavalry get over here on the left. No, not everybody. It's going to be things like here. It's just freaking out. 
trying to work out how to manage it all. I'm curious about what you're doing and why you just ran forward like that. I know you're trying you're going into the command HQ, I got you, I got you. To be honest, you're probably best off. Just don't even try to shoot them. Just go in, take them out. Engage the enemy everywhere. Put them under pressure everywhere. Get our cavalry in there quick. The rockets. Oh, it's a ceasefire. A uh, long rifleman ceasefire. Pontina Marines are going to cleave their way through the firelock armed citizenry pretty rapidly. the last of these provincial line form square on the center give them a volley you stand there going oh no oh dear this isn't good at all Get the cavalry past this engagement. Excellent. If we kill the general, I think they'll be done for. To be honest, doesn't really matter where we send our cavalry, they can do whatever they like. Victory is assured. Although the general's still alive. Take him out. Kill him. Get him now. Got him. There you go, that's broken their forces. Nice. Sorry, Norway. Flag is dope. Pax Americana is better. Nice. Chomp. That's ours. Let's rebuild the government building. Any universities to worry about? A modern university. That would be quite a good get for us if we got it earlier in the campaign. We can get rid of Bergen, we don't need another dry dock. But yeah, that's another Protestant it's another Protestant faction with a modern university. That would be really good. Um were we not so far along the tech tree. Yeah, we've got a handful of textile techs to do, a handful of naval techs, but apart from that, we've got everything. So we don't really need it. Okay, you've done all this. Um, yeah, they're not on strike. They love it. They love us. I mean, they love us when we've got our guns. But always destroyed. And looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.